So, um, what I could do is mark a bunch of trees, which we already had, for sale. Um, and mark some of these for sale, which should bring us in some money. So though we have our forestry going, um, right now, well, um, there's a bunch that have been cut down, so. But this will help out even more. So we can get, obviously we have to be careful not to, um, not to, select anything um, like the wall or whatnot. So that, that will do for now. Anyway, and now we can start planning out what we want to do over here. So, um, so let's say we're going to take where is it? Walls? Let's say we're going to take this, something like that, and we'll say that the um, the thing in the jiggy is gonna gonna continue up here. But I might do them a bit shorter so that we can do our ooh, lots of trees, so we can do our guard tower or something in the corner. Um, so let's say our fence will go something like that. And then we can put a guard tower out here. We don't have enough for one yet. We haven't researched them yet. And then this can continue like that. And it can do something like that. So that will be our fence. But then this area. Yeah, then these would have a fence over here. So then this will continue building like that. Let's just see what we can fit in. Um, so we would want a kitchen and a canteen for both um, reds and oranges. So, if we have, we could do one bun, one lot first. So, if we try and keep these things symmetrical-ish, so that could be. The canteen. The kitchen can go behind. And that way the chefs can come in and out from here and do what they have to do. Then we're going to need a medical room. I mean, probably the best thing is to do it room by room. They'll need a yard as well. The yard can be in the middle-ish here, between the two sections. Um, then maybe we could do a few rooms down the bottom there. Okay, let's... Let's build out this. We 
don't have enough for that. Okay. We need another 14,000. Alright, let's do defensive. Defense. Defense will help. Should have enough for defense. Uh, I probably should think about putting the speed up faster. Doesn't really make much of a difference. But it would make a little bit of a difference. And we're auto saving. But that's not 10 minutes because I left the game running a bit. So, um, we're going to need to dismantle a bunch of trees over here. Something like that. That should bring us in some money. But the money is uh, is counting up. And we've got prisoners arriving in about two hours. So that's good because they'll, they'll bring money with them. If you know what I mean. So now we've got these. What do they want? They're all shouting about something. Hygiene clothing. We're going off for hygiene. And clothing, we have laundry. Which doesn't have any water. Okay, maybe that's an issue. Problem of the can't put a pipe through a cross. Okay, that will be sorted. And I'm seeing some flashing lights here as well. Yeah. That's one missing. That's one missing. Anything else? Those will look okay. Okay, so in two hours ish, we're going to get these prisoners. Don't know how much money they'll bring with them. Um, 44 prisoners. Let's have a look here. Probably once we get this bit sorted out, we can start intaking more of them as well. There's only seven and two for now, but it's something. So we're going to get 13 grand. So that should help us build this. That's good. And in the meantime, we have 11 up for parole. That's very good as well, because that will bring us in money. Well, as long as they pass their parole they'll have their interview and they'll try and convince the parole officer and probably Calvin Heller why they should be let back out and um, if they manage to convince them then we'll get money so let's have a look at our grading while we're waiting for things to do so we've had 57 been released since that problem I had we have had nine deaths now one escape uh, 45 have been paroled early with only 6% reoffending. So the early paroles are doing better than the overall. And we're worth 940 grand. Which is very good if ever we want to sell this prison. Um, health is creeping back up. Obviously, wasn't helped by our starving problem. Reform is getting there. Punishment is in the middle. Um, I don't think we'll want to run too much of a hard prison at the moment. We'll see about that later on. Um, but yeah. That's 
all pretty good. These will be sorted when our workmen are finished doing what they have to do. Our guards are all patrolling there. Down to one hour. So, okay, let's have a think about what we need while we're waiting for money. Um, we need ki canteen kitchen. We're going to need... They're going to need their own visitation. Which... We could do the new type one. Now that means it's going to be a short, thinnish room. So we could probably do a room, something like that, for visitation. And then have something else on the front of it. Yeah. Um, Alright, let's plan. So if we have... Room something like this. I did do the tried not to do the double line, it still did the double line. So if we have something like that, then what we can do is we can have Throw the door down here that they pass through to get to here. And we can have some rooms. And they could be maybe the chapel and the um, laundry. Or something like that. Then we could have a couple of classrooms, or a common room. Yeah, a common room and a classroom. And if they'll pass through this one entrance, rather than having doors directly here, we can put one metal detector and have it all sorted, which would be good. And obviously, we're going to need a power station, which I can actually put outside. five grand that's all we have all right let's wait for the money so we could put a power station out here to power this whole wing so we don't start um, making our other bit suffer so now they're coming and we get the money okay that's good so we can we've got some cash flow we can start building, let's start building the foundations we can build the first bit first which is the canteen and the um, the kitchen because that, that's the worst bit the canteen and the kitchen is the worst bit for, for the mixing and we want some Solitary will want um, a shower. Yeah, and we need a yard. Yard is easy. Yeah, we can just allocate some uh, some ground here. That's okay. So we could do. I don't want to bite off too much stuff. And then forget what I wanted. Because I was already planning stuff down here. Look. In case you haven't seen that episode. To extend the classroom. And the library and everything. And the workshop. And add a few more rooms. Which I forgot what they're going to be now. Um, I think another classroom. And something else. Maybe the shop. And I really forgot what they were all going to be, so that's what happens. And I'll probably have to find the episode and rewatch it to see what I had planned. But that can be something like that. And...
we could... I'm always going to want to come in from this side. The thing is, I like the idea of having corridors and separating them off. But we'll have to see what rooms we need. We need. Um, we'll probably need a workshop. We're going to need a shower. Yes, we were saying shower and solitary. So what we could do... I don't like the idea of having the solitary close to the visitation, but... And it's auto-saving. But we could... Maybe do. Something like this. And it would be a bunch of solitary also coming through that same entrance. Which could work. And obviously it's not clicking where I want it to click. But maybe if I zoom in it will work better. It's doing the sound, it's not even up oh, because I've not got it selected now. Come on. It is really feeling laggy. Come on. There we go. Something like that. I mean, I won't draw the whole thing. And then what we could do is have a shower. We can keep that long sort of idea. Um, keep him planning, please. So we can have something like that for the shower. And then I have another corridor. Something like. No, do it here. Now we can split these rooms. Something like that. What I can do is I can put doorways so I remember where I intended the doorways to be. Come on. So I can go into the shower like that. I can go into the visitation like that. And that would be the common room with the classroom behind. And that would be something with something. <coughs> else behind <clears throat> and pardon me I've got another thro frog in my throat always happens I think all this speaking I get a dry throat and then I just start coughing and grunting and it's not good for everyone for anyone really um, so how are we doing over here they're getting built they're getting that built that's good and we want to do a door do a staff door over here. And then obviously we're going to want to... We've got some people dead over here. That's not good. These reds are really, really a problem. I 
I mean, we might not want to keep the intake open for them, but um, we'll have to see. I think our workmen are a little bit overwhelmed at the moment, and obviously the simulation isn't running that fast, even on the full speed. Um, but yeah, this will get built. So then we can choose this area. Then, I mean, it might be a better idea to build this shower first, but um, I mean, we could always build, well we could build to here, so we need the solitary, but I don't think we can afford this whole big block all at once, so we're going to need to kit out the kitchen, um, so yeah it's probably not the best idea to, I uh, can't even see my keyboard now, to build the whole thing. I mean, probably the best thing is finish off this, get them in their own canteen and stuff, and bit by bit we'll get control over them. Um, we'll need to build some ladies with babies, maybe we'll do that here-ish, and then mirror image this down here, and then do something off a yard, or something like that. So, alright, let's see... Now we're in work. Is anyone doing any lessons? No one's in any lessons. There's a lot of people in spiritual guidance. So, if we go in programs. Okay, they're turning up now. So we just saw it at the start of the work then. They're all turning up. Okay. Um, zero percent, zero percent, zero percent. They're got, getting a lot of money now. I, I think we need to get the shop up and running. Which means extending our um, our building down here. And you are destroying and what is wrong with you let's search her Just got bitten by dogs. That was nice. Not that it's nice to be bitten by a dog, but nice to see that in the game. Working like that. I've never seen it work like that before. So that's good. Um, anyway, so I think we're pretty much at the end of the episode. I haven't really checked the time. I don't have a timer on this, but yeah, I think we're at the end of the episode. So um, at least we're getting this whole... Uh, section over here sorted out so bit by bit we can start rebuilding and well not rebuilding start building and continue sorting things out so things can run a bit smoother so until next time i've been stranky this has been prison architect thanks for watching if you like the episode please do leave a like it really does help and um if you do have any tips or anything you would before this is built it's not set in stone so if you have any ideas for this section um, please do leave a comment and um, you know many heads together we can build something much better than just me thinking on my own so yeah please do leave comments and um, I'll see you all again next time thank you and bye bye